Hi, my name is Ingrid and welcome to my Scandinavian kitchen. Today I want to share one of my favorite recipes with you, the classic cinnamon bun or kanelbollar as we say in Norway. This is a typical Scandinavian treat and something many of us associate with hygge. This version is super easy and quick, so it's perfect if you don't have that much time. Now, let's get started. The quicker we do, the quicker we can sit down and enjoy these delicious buns. When I'm baking, I like to get all my ingredients measured out before I start to make things easier. This recipe is for about 16 buns and you will need 900 grams of plain flour, 5 deciliter of milk, 2 eggs, 125 grams of white sugar, 16 grams of instant dry yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, 275 grams of butter, 100 grams of brown sugar, this is for the filling, and last but not least, the main ingredient, 2 tablespoons of cinnamon. Let's start by adding all of the dry ingredients for the dough into our baking bowl. So all of the flour, the white sugar, the salt, as well as the dry instant yeast. With a spoon, gently stir this together. We add one of the eggs, as well as all of the milk. Before properly starting to work the dough, I recommend mixing these ingredients in with a spoon. And now it's time to start working the dough by hand for a couple of minutes. For the kneading, I use my KitchenAid machine, but you can of course do this by hand if you prefer. Keep the machine on a medium spin and let it work for about 10 minutes. It's time to add 150 grams of the butter. Don't worry if you can see lumps, these will melt further into the dough as your machine works for 10 more minutes. 
since we are using the instant dry yeast, there is no need to let it rise. Lightly sprinkle your workspace with flour, but make sure that you do not add too much as it will dry out the dough. Get your rolling pin out and we are going to create a large rectangular shape with the dough. For the filling, we start by adding the remaining 125 grams of softened butter into a bowl. And we then take the brown sugar as well as the cinnamon. which we then combine together into a paste. Drop all of this paste onto the rectangular shape. Before we evenly coat the whole surface with the filling. Take one side of the rectangle and fold it one third over. Then fold the other side all over again. It can be a bit tricky, but no need for it to look perfect. We take our rolling pin and slightly even it out. Cut each strip roughly 2 cm wide. Today I am making a knot which looks very impressive, but it is very easy to make. Just start by twisting it a few times before rolling it around itself and tucking the end up under the bun.
Prepare a baking tray with parchment paper on and start placing your buns on it. Make sure there is space between. Then brush the buns with egg wash to help them get a shine and a nice color. Place the tray in the middle in a preheated oven on 220 degrees. And set the timer for about 14 minutes. The smell of cinnamon buns fresh from the oven is so nice. I simply love how cozy it makes my home feel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. See you next time for more of that Scandinavian feeling.